Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'll go through the find rows example and we'll start by naming these two cells up here. That makes them easy to count with. So we'll name the VAT cell, the C3. We'll name that VAT and then we'll just name the C4 cell to mark up. That makes it very easy to do the math on those things. Now we can do the calculate the markup for each of these products by doing equals, price in, the purchase price that they're purchasing the product for, multiplied by the markup. So that makes sense that what markup is 2550 for that. And now I can just go ahead and fill that down and remove that one. All right. Very easy. And now if I change the markup, of course, to 10%, then to 10%. There we go. Now it, it works, it still works, just as it should. I'm going to change the numbering format on these two to be percentage, and then I'm going to make the cell styles input on those. And same with the price in, here's input two, there we go. And of course these are all dollar values, so let's change those two. There we go, and the markup is a dollar value also but it is not an input, it's a calculation. And the VAT is of course the price in plus the markup and then we're going to multiply that, all of that, times the VAT, like that. And then we can just fill that down all the way Removing that and making sure that this is a dollar value and that it is a, in the calculation. Dollar value again. And the price out would, of course, be the um, price in plus the markup plus the VAT. And that is a dollar value. I can fill that down all the way. Removing this, making sure it's dollars, and making sure that it's a calculation. And now we can just calculate the cost, the price out, multiplied by the number of items. And we fill that down again, all the way down. Changing the number format to be dollars. Changing the cell styles to be calculation. These values are actually inputs, so let's change that too. Inputs, there we go. Now, uh, the sum of the costs, easy. We're going to do an auto sum of all those costs there. And uh, that's going to be a calculation. The discount. Now we're going to find the value here and find where in this discount range will fall. So we'll find that and um, then we're going to do a um, vertical lookup, V lookup. So we're looking for the value here, lookup value, and the table array is this discount table. And we're looking for a value in the second column, right? First, second. And that should give us now, let's see what, what we're expecting here. We're looking for the 20,000, so that should give us a 19% a um, discount. So let's do that. Yes, we do get a 19% discount, so let's format that as a percentage and make that a calculation. And the discount value is, of course, this sum of cost um, multiplied by the discount and this is a calculation and it's a dollar value and the to pay then you would take the sum cost minus the discount and that is of course a dollar value got that already and it's a calculation so that looks about right Thank you for watching this demonstration.